welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. The game we're looking at today is called uh, Lordless. So you can see it is, uh, is in beta, uh, running in a uh, browser using MetaMask. Um, it's a kind of interesting game that I can't say at the moment I can really get my head around. <laughs> but uh, um, like many blockchain games, it takes a bit of time, I think. Um, so we'll just click through and see what's going on. So it, is, it has some interesting elements. I have been kind of trying to get my head around it for a while. So um, it is a Chinese game. Uh, maybe that's uh, why it has a lot of this um, kind of gambling kind of stuff. So we can see here, I can make a bet 0.09 Ether and I have a 31% chance of winning um, 0.18 Ether, so doubling my money, not quite 50-50. Then I've got 100% um, chance of winning some of this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> various, various different coins um, that I can win. So it's kind of interesting. Um, you can see, um, I don't know what this is, with this windfall thing, it's saying claim now. Um, handle my transaction in MetaMask, what's it going to do? So I'm going to, I could, well, I don't know. <laughs> what am I going to win there? So I'm going to reject that. So I'm going to win some of that currency. I guess that's probably its own internal currency. I don't know really what that is. Um, I can get an airdrop straight to the wallet of this token. Okay. Um, and we can see down here there's some candies. Um, we can see here. Uh, basically, they're, they're just saying they're giving this kind of stuff out on these. So here we go. So the Lordless, the Lordless token is less. The Loom Network, we know about Loom Network. Loom, Internet of Services, um, Osme, Os o o Misgo, which is kind of very well known, and, and then um, OX as well. I mean, these are some of these are fairly well known um, blockchain crypto tokens, but um, that's not the game. But you can play there, and, and <laughs> people love to bet on blockchains, don't they? Um, not really me. So we can go to this kind of taverns, this gets a bit more interesting. So taverns are um, ERC721, so non fungible tokens, only one of them you, you can own them. Um, there's going to be a ten, four thousand taverns. Um, not at the moment. Only thirty on sale. So we can kind of see this being a Chinese game. Um, these are all um, at the moment. I think buildings in Shanghai. So we can see here um, some of the uh, kind of cool buildings. So there's the Shanghai World Financial Center. I'm going to have a look at that. Now this is an interesting thing. So you go and have a look at, at one of these taverns, and then these kind of tokens are just floating around. So you can just go and collect these. So I'm assuming these are proper um, tokens. So we can see here, I mean, there's Loom. So there's 0 0.0195 Loom tokens. Now, a, one Loom token is worth about four US cents at the moment. So there's not vast amounts of money to be grabbed here. But um, it's just kind of vaguely, you know, an int this seems to be the gameplay mechanic at the moment. Um, so no more, um, no more things to be collected from the Shanghai World Financial Center. So we'll come out of there. And let's go and look at the, the circus. Similar thing. Um, oh, I'm going to collect some some debris. Um, there we go. I'm collecting some debris. Oh, let's keep collecting debris. Yeah, and more debris. Um, set that as a home. Uh, so look at the pearl tail. What's going on there? So at some point, you, this is obviously you think it's going to stop. Um, and no more debris. Okay, so so we've used up all the debris. Um, I'm being slightly facetious. I can go in here. And this tells me this is kind of my um, um, this is my MetaMask wallet. Um, so seeing shows how much Met, uh, ETH is in my wallet, none or very little. And then see here in terms of the game, um, I need to earn 21 prestige to level up to level five. Um, I've set my home for this um, cathedral. I don't know what this AP remaining is. I guess it's probably the leveling up type thing. Um, Oh, action points. So I've got seven action points left. The action points, I think, are these things that um, means I can pick up tokens. So I've got can pick up seven more tokens. It resets every two hours, ten minutes, whatever. Um, and we can see here just completed tasks. So we can see here what I've picked up. And if you can see here, my assets, estimated value, all these tokens I've picked up so far. I've been playing it for a few days. 0.5, uh, 52 cents actually. Um, but. Um, I don't think you can get it out. I'm not quite sure um, how you get anything out <laughs> of it. Um, so let's go and have a look at this. Um, if you look at the maps, this is quite a nice way of looking. This just a different way of looking at um, uh, where we were before. So this is a map of um, Shanghai, and we can just pick on some of these buildings. Which one's that? Yeah, oh, what's that building? I don't know. Well, tell us. 
Ling Kong Soho. Don't know what that is. Business office building. Oh, it's got some stuff. So, so I think that was that's seven. I think that's seven. So if we go back now, see action point's gone now. So basically, this is kind of this action point thing is, is a kind of interesting, I guess, retention mechanic we would say in the free-to-play world this is obviously a free-to-play browser game um, so I come back every maybe three hours and then use these up and I'm kind of collecting some um, some real money real tokens although um, some of them are, are real more real than others so this is this candy stuff so that's what we we're looking at before was this candy so this is you can what you can see is being collected um, ah, so here we go um, so we've got 1.7 loom so I've got yeah an almost eight eight US cents of looms. Um so I actually got quite a lot of this less one. Um which is the which is the Lord less one, isn't it? The Lord less token. So they reckon that's worth um say uh, twenty-three. Ah so and then you go withdraw coming soon. So this is this is this is the um I'm not saying these guys uh, this is a scam at all. because <laughs> um, this looks very professional. I think they actually the um the user experience is pretty good for this game, but um, the withdrawal is coming soon. So obviously, I've got potentially I've got money in here that they just give me for playing the game, but I can't withdraw it yet. So that's kind of something to be aware of. Um, so uh, and the other kind of interesting thing is we can go in, and I don't have a tavern, but I can go and buy one. So um, some of these are under construction, so we can go in if I wanted to buy the Shanghai World Financial Center. Now let's see if I can do it. Um, Okay, so if you own one of these taverns, you can start to you can earn more. Okay, so so you, I think you probably get paid a lot in this candy um, in-game currency for the token. Um, but we can go and see it's trading on OpenSea. So OpenSea is the blockchain um, uh, game marketplace, and so it's owned by Lordless. So that's the owned by the developer. Um, it's listed for nine point five ether. So that's um, going to be fairly substantial if ether what are we now about say 150 that's like a, over a thousand dollars um high soft at the moment is six so someone has made an look someone has made an offer of six where are we going so we can see here i can make an offer um someone went low 25 days ago and there's different offers different offers coming in um so i think we can kind of see where this game's going um it's going into a kind of a into a scheme where people are owning real world um, locations, they get a certain amount of money for doing that. People come and visit that. Um, I'm not quite sure how the how the how the tavern owners set the bounty because obviously they want to be more popular, so they need to give more away. So I guess it becomes a, over time. It, some of these things can be profitable, but over time they get less profitable because people will they need to give away more of their money to, to kind of get there. Um, so. In a sense, it's kind of this kind of typical thing we see with blockchain games, where it's kind of um, a, a kind of a, a it's not really gambling in the sense, but it's kind of a, a reward structure where um, you're kind of spending in the hope of kind of getting to the top of the reward structure, and then giving it away. I mean, in a sense, it's a bit like staking, I suppose, um, to some degree. Um, but I think it's pretty interesting. I mean, I find this game interesting just partly because I think it looks really nice, um, um, and supposedly it's giving me money for just tapping on the screen. Uh, uh, We'll see how 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 far that goes on for. Um, so uh, should we look at the FAQ, shouldn't we? So um, that's GitHub. So I mean, GitHub is just um, here we go. So I've read some of the documentation of this, and um, I still don't wouldn't say I totally understand um, how this game works. Um, but uh, worth keeping an eye on. So um, that's what we do on blockchain gaming world. Um, lots of stuff going on in terms of blockchain games. Um, most of them more on the meta game on the blockchain side at the moment than the game side. I think that's changing, um, but, it, but it's interesting in terms of the psychology of how these games are being presented, um, and how the developers are trying to make money and how they are trying to kind of build audience and then get people to effectively to invest by buying NFTs in the game. Um, so uh, yeah, interesting one. Um, just be a little bit careful if you're expecting to make money on this one, um, as I'm not quite sure where the withdrawal scenario uh, comes in, um, and that's all kind of kind of pretty important. But other than that, looks pretty interesting to me. So uh, check it out. Um, see the URL there, um, game.lordless.io. Um, so it's free to play. Um, so if you don't expect to get any money out of it, you also won't be. You won't have to pay any money either. So um, thanks for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're into blockchain games. Um, but uh, we hope to see you again soon.